CMAR is owned by Scottish Ministers and we hold the assets for the Lifeline Ferry Services for Scotland. We have a total of 31 vessels that trade on the West Coast and five that trade to the Northern Isles. In addition to that, we have 26 ports and slipways that all form the network for the Lifeline Ferry Services. CMAR's role to the ferry infrastructure in Scotland is absolutely key. We are delivering projects and maintenance across the network. We're quite keen as well in ensuring that we do the job right first time. We like to minimise maintenance so that we're reducing costs for ferry travel and for people having to go out and repair buildings. We're obviously working quite remote and sometimes volatile weather environments so the buildings need to stand the test of time. Our work is very important to the communities of Scotland. These vessels and harbour infrastructures provide lifeline services to the community so we need to make sure that the projects that we deliver are capable of meeting the rigours of the demand. By doing so we are obviously serving our communities, we are enabling the local businesses to grow, we are also enabling the visitors to visit our islands and, and see the best of Scotland. I'm personally immensely proud of that. At Brodick, we've spent £32 million upgrading the whole facility. And at the other end of the spectrum, from a port perspective, a new slipway and a lining structure at Loch Allen, which cost approximately £6 million. The works we've delivered at CMAL over the past 10 years at Kenna Craig have involved extending the pier. And then as a phase two works, we increased the size of the marshalling area and we have plans in the future for a Kenna Craig phase three where we're actually going to rebuild the entire pier and put in a new terminal building. We're currently involved with the Gert Dunoon Kilcreggan replacement vessel programme and we're looking to provide a more resilient and reliable service for the community. We are continuously striving to improve the condition of the existing vessels that we have in our fleet, which helps to maintain a reliable and robust service for the communities which they serve. There's recently been a commitment from Scottish Government for a substantial amount of capital funding over the next five years and we are in the early stages of planning and design for a number of large multi-million pound projects. We want to cause minimum disruption whilst we're working but we want to ensure that facilities are up to date and fit for purpose now and into the future. I know that in the heart of everything we do is for the benefit of our community. Well, my family are from the Western Isles of Scotland and we've been using these vessels our whole lives. So as a ferry user myself, it's great to be able to influence the design of these vessels and to engage with the local communities to ensure that we're meeting their needs as well.